Woo! Music City TV. Y'all tap in with the boy. Best thing I ain't smoking on YouTube, shout out. I ain't lying. Like, comment, subscribe. Man, tell somebody so they can tell somebody about the boy, man. Y'all see what's going on. I'm swinging like a motherfucker in this bitch. You feel me? Back in the compound, dog. I ain't going to say it's no I ain't gonna say it's no bad news, but I had to backtrack. I had to pull the motor back out, dog. I know y'all probably wondering, like, what the hell? It's a long story, dog. So, man, y'all um, sit back. Let, let y'all know what the bitch is. I'm gonna grab this junk, dog. So check this out. This is how it all started, man. Y'all know I got the motor in. Transmission, transmission bolted to the motor. Uh, flywheel bolted to the torque converter. And I was ready to go. I was ready to go to the next stage. The next stage, you know what I'm saying? I ready to put my start up though. I don't know do y'all remember, but when I first decided I wasn't gonna do the LS swap, I went to the junkyard. I grabbed the starter, flywheel, bolts. Bracket and all that. I ended up throwing all that junk away because I said, man, I don't even want to go with none of that junk on my motor. So, what I should have did, I should have kept that starter though. I wasn't even thinking. So, now, bring y'all up to speed. When it's time to put my starter on my motor, I'm like, okay, let me, um, let me call Napa. Let me call Napa. Let me call Napa, see how much a starter. The starter was 188 plus a $40 core. My job, it was 108 with a $40 core. So I'm like, all right. So I went to work. Um, my coworker Dan, he said he had a, a core that was left over from when he bought his starter. He bought his starter brand new, so it don't need no core to be returned. So I like, um, shit, let me get the core. Let me get the core. And I just used that as my core and buy the one for my job. So I started thinking, I was like, damn, I could just use that core and take it to Brownies and get it rebuilt and be brand new. It's a place out here called Brownies. They've been in the city for years. Everybody know them for building alternator and starter. So I took the core and got it rebuilt. I got it rebuilt and got it painted. You feel me? And this here right here, John look damn good too. All black, all black everything. All black everything on that joint. Black everything. You feel me? So boom. Okay. So it's time to mount this joint up. I'm ready to go. Man, how about I get under there? I get under the joint and my goddamn um, starter, starter boat hole watered out. So I'm like, man, what the hell, dog? So, all right. So I got this um, thread picture of the boat, the starter boat, and goddamn when it got me a tap. Right? And remind you, when I first put the first boat in the first hole, it just fell off in there and it caught like a fruit threads at the top, like some threads at the top. So I'm like, I might be scraped. If this other, if the other hole is good, man, I put the screw, I put the bolt in that hole and it caught like two or three threads and stopped. So I grabbed the tap, put it in the first hole. It, it fell through just like the bolt did. And it caught what, where I thought I had threads at the top. You feel me? So I cleaned it up a little bit, thought I did. Put it in the other hole. Like I said, when I first put the bolt in, it had about this much sticking out because it only caught like a few thread. So I cleaned it out. And I was able to get the boat to go up a little bit, tighten it up, but it still was sticking out that much. So that means I had to down there get a shorter boat. You feel me? So I'm like, God damn, dog. So you know, I'm asking people, you know what I'm saying, how they ran across it. It's the most odd, it's the most odd shit ever, dog. Start the boat up. The boat come down, up. Oh, it shouldn't be no water out of nothing. So here I go. Um, I'm asking, I'm my homeboy social came through, but he ain't never did come through. So I'm like, I asked Dan, I asked Dan at work, and he was like, for him to do it, he'll have to have it on a lift, because you got to go straight up and down. It's like a one shot. It's like a one shot. You got to get it jump right on the first try for real. And um, so then that's why I decided, don't get me wrong now, I can take it back to the machine shop, and they can do it, and it's done right, which they do stuff like that. But like I said, when I had the motor at the goddamn machine shop, I'm just trying to make sure the block check out the block good, ain't cracked, head three is good, all oh, that good stuff. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Nigga, I ain't thinking nothing about no goddamn star the boat hole, dog. So here I go. I'm like, damn, dog. The amount, of, the amount of money that I got invested in that motor, I'm not just for letting no anybody come through. Cause the free people say, oh man, they're easy, but 
when a more when somebody say it's easy, how you put a helicoil in before on something else, or how you actually did it on starter boat holes. See, like it's a difference when you put helicoil and the starter boat holes on your motor. The shit, you know what I'm saying? You can you can take that risk, but on somebody else's motor, man, that that man ain't not gonna let you take that risk on his motor. Not Bob Mine. Bob Mine got a grip in this joint, so it ain't no. Yeah, man, I do it. No first time trying it out. Nah, I can't do that. So I decided to be on the safe side where I feel comfortable. I'm just gonna take the motor back out, dog. What? Take the motor out, take it back to the machine shop, let it throw the helicoids in there, and goddamn, bring it back, put it back in. So right now, I'm actually in the process, or I'm actually in the process of pulling the motor out. So I'm gonna post y'all a look. Hold on. So yeah, dog, I'm in the process of pulling the goddamn motor right back out, dude. But the thing is, the good thing about it is that I put it in. So that's why it ain't no problem with me pulling it out. I just did all this within, I got off at 12, it's 121, so shit about an hour and 30. Pull this joint on out, dog. Pull this joint on out. And like I said, I had it right back in though. It just, they got you on the safe side, this an investment, so I can't just have nobody coming around trying something they ain't never did before. I'd rather take it back to the machine shop, take it back to the machine shop, and let the professional do it, you feel me? And I ain't tripping, because he said it's, um, it's gonna be $50 to do it, $25 to heat the floor. So yeah, dog. I just want y'all to learn, like I said, I don't hide that from nobody. I want y'all going to come on a journey with what I'm on doing the LS swap. Any mistake that I run into, I'm gonna put y'all down, dog. So I just want y'all to know, I know this something everybody out of the ad, they said they never seen that before. So y'all learn from my mistake, dog. Not, not even my mistake, cause it ain't no goddamn mistake, it's something that I ain't know. It's just in the future, y'all ever get a motor built. Man, get all the boats goddamn checked, my nigga. Get all the boat holes checked, dog. But one thing about it, you don't want to be like me. Well, I was down there. I was down there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say the final stage, but man, I was getting there. And now here I go. Here I go, got to pull the motor back out. But that's all good, though. If you want to do it right, you got to do what you got to do. So this is a good thing about, the only good thing about me is that I work on cars. So I don't got to wait on the next man to come help me out. So that will help me out. You know what I'm saying? I work, I, um, I do a lot of stuff on my own. Especially stuff that I can do. Yeah, I'm doing that myself. But yeah, that was what we got going on. That's what we got going on right now. Hey, the pull the goddamn motor out, dog. Let me lower that jump down. Damn, I ain't know that joke still going. Put that all on powerful. That's all I can see. Back at the machine shop right now. We done, baby. We done. Fresh healer cores in that joint. Healer core. Start ready to bolt up. So once I get it back, man, I'm good. Feel me? Yes, sir. Got the washers up there. 
I'm gonna use, use the boat that he got me. Man, we ready to go. We ready to go, man. But yeah, this definitely, this definitely one gonna be a long one. But at the same time, you feel me? I didn't want to let y'all know what was going on. I had to take it out. Cause basically what he was saying, um, the people actually had a, heli a helicoil already in the outside hole, but it was the wrong one. So he put the right one in, tapped it, put the right one. He got the old, the, the wrong one out, he put the new one in, the right one, and now we're good. And the outside one, he basically had to, you know, retap that joint, put new helicoil, put the helicoil up in that joint. So with that being said, I'm about to get on up out of here. Uh, this ain't gonna be a, this just more like a, no informal, let you know what we're on met right now. And baby, we good. So by the time y'all see this, I probably, by the time y'all see this, I had a motor back in the car picking up where I left off of it. So with Mississippi TV, y'all tap in with that boy. Best thing smoking on YouTube, shout out I ain't lying. Like, comment, subscribe. Man, tell somebody so they tell somebody about the boy, man. I weigh 45, bringing out the center Clay County in my neck of the wood back home, baby, when I'm out this thing. Yes, sir.